Today, we are going to learn how to get started using Conto One mixing system with Pro Tools. I'm Todd from Softube. Conto One can be used in any DAW, but we're going to take a look at some tips on how to get up and running in Pro Tools with the best workflow possible. Let's take a look. Just by connecting the hardware, we have the ability to select tracks. Solo tracks and mute tracks. And as we do this from either console one channel or fader, we see the track names, colors, and numbers across all of our screens. But we have the ability to do much more while using Pro Tools due to the ability to use several different modes. Let's flip over to our mixer. I'm going to go to Setup, Peripherals, and under MIDI controllers, I will select Console One Fader as our Huey device. While I'm at it, I am going to head over to our master and insert the Console One plugin. It is great to have it there to be able to meter what is going on in our session and kickstart Console One into getting us some connectivity. We can close the plugin window for now, as we will be using the on screen display instead. Let's turn on our on-screen display. We get some metering on our master, and since it's the only one with the console one plugin, you'll see that our other tracks will not show any processing at this point. This is even more clear as we switch our views to our track overview display. If I hold shift and hit settings, I can select to switch into the new Pro Tools Huey function mode. Let's hide our on-screen display for now. In this mode, we will have the ability to select our tracks, solo tracks, mute tracks, but now also control our DAW volume and pan directly from console one. One of the great things about controlling Pro Tools volume from console one fader is that when you get to Unity, haptic feedback gives you an indication so you can feel where you are on your fader. And if you push the fader too high and start clipping, haptic feedback will give you a vibration as an indication that you've clipped your tracks. If you want to control pan, you can select your pan mode on the left side. On a stereo track, your pan knob will control the left pan. If you hit the pan button again, it'll switch over to the right pan knob. On mono tracks, you will be able to control your single pan knob in Pro Tools when set to the first or left pan mode. If you hit the pan button again, you'll see that it does not control that pan knob. You just need to be aware of what pan mode you're in when making adjustments. Huey allows us to control faders in banks of eight. Using the page button, it's easy to control your faders from console one fader. Let's select track two, which is our lead vocal. I also opened up the first three sends on that vocal. Using Pro Tools Huey mode, we have the ability to control our sends in Pro Tools. By hitting the parameter button on the left side, we flip our faders over to control sends. And the buttons on the left now select which send we'll be controlling. Let's solo our track and send to some of our aux tracks to add reverb and delay. Oh, oh, take a little drop from the backseat, backseat, endless highway. Got my feet on the gas now, fast now, headlights burning. Take a drop from the backseat, backseat, and let's hide away. And to get out of sends mode and return to controlling DAW volume, click the parameter button again, and you'll have complete control of your faders and Pro Tools. If you want to unleash the full potential of Console One's processing, place the Console One plugin across all inserts of your tracks. In Pro Tools, this is easy to do by holding Option when selecting the plugin. Just realize that you will need to do it once for all stereo tracks and then once for all mono tracks. Let's turn on our display and you can now see that we are set up to have console one channels processing across all of our tracks. If we decide to switch out of Huey mode and over to console one mode, we can use this mode so that console one fader becomes an extension of console one channel. Let's select and solo track eight for our acoustic guitar. We can EQ, low cut, add a tape or preamp,
add sustain, and using the dual section of the shape, place our sound further back in the room. Finally, let's add some compression. If I hold the parameter button on fader and touch any knob on console one channel, such as a high mid frequency, we now have the ability to control that parameter directly from a fader. If I were to select a parameter with stepped adjustments, such as the EQ from American Class A, Fader's haptic feedback gives us an indication for these discrete parameters, which makes feeling your adjustments even more intuitive from console on Fader. And haptic feedback goes even further. If we control our pan via the faders, haptic feedback gives us an indication at the center point. Of course, this is all just the start of what you can do with Console One Mixing System. Thanks for watching. To learn more about Console One Mixing System, head on over to softtube.com for more information.